Most parents already know that books are good for kids. But knowing that they're beneficial and knowing how to get kids to fall in love with reading are often two very different things. So I wanted to share five tips with you today to help encourage a love of reading in your home. Tip number one, read aloud. It is never too early to begin reading aloud to a child. And studies show that there are benefits to reading aloud all the way from birth through adult. You can start young with warm and fuzzy picture books like Love You Who, or reading books that teach gentle lessons like Table Manners for Tigers. Or maybe you're looking for more interactive options like our sound books, our puppet books, and our slot books. Of course, children grow and their interests change. You can continue reading aloud to them throughout their entire 18 years at home with our story collections that let you read as little or as much as you want in one sitting. And chapter books that will take your readers on imaginative new adventures. Tip number two, create a broad home library. Studies have shown that children who are raised in a home with a 500 book library are more likely to complete, on average, more than three years of education. And when it comes to a home library, a wide selection will beat the boredom and match any mood. Whether that's learning about the world around us, about health and wellness, feelings and mental well-being, science, technology, or engineering, there is plenty to choose from, including a wide range of nonfiction topics in our Shine a Light series. As you're building your library, be sure to let your kids pick their interest areas to help fuel their drive to read. If it were up to me, I would have kept my kids reading about unicorns and teddy bears for years. But as their own unique personalities and interests developed, they led us toward new areas like mythology, graphic novels, history, and even more. When we let children pick the books that interest them, they are naturally more interested in reading. Tip number three, go beyond the books. You can help children develop a natural curiosity for books by asking comprehension questions as you read together. Now, I like a nice smooth storyline, but research has shown that stopping that storyline to pause and ask questions can make a big difference in helping children develop valuable skills and comprehension. Use your own creativity to do this with any book, or you can use some of our books that are already set up to help encourage those conversations between pages. Such as our Lift and Look series for little readers, which encourages them to look closely at the pictures. Our Things to Spot series has lots of great visual prompts, and a selection of books from our My First Reading Library include puzzles at the end to check reader comprehension. Ever a favorite, You Choose is a great conversation starter that encourages kids to explore the pages and come up with their own unique story. Tip number four, give books as gifts and rewards. We want to set the expectation that books are something to be excited about, something to look forward to. Books are treasures, and if we present them to children that way, their interest in reading will naturally grow. Whether your child loves sticker books, activity pads, paper crafts, or painting, there is something for just about every interest.
as well as gifts that will truly stand out from the crowd. Finally, I have tip number five, model reading. Whether they will admit it or not, kids want to naturally mimic what they see around them. So the more you read for yourself, for your own enjoyment, the more you normalize reading as a lifelong activity. That's right, I am giving you permission to ignore that sink full of dishes, kick back, put your feet up, and enjoy a good book just for yourself. Because that time you spend reading is actually very good parenting on your part. Our favorite options for older kids and adults include our illustrated classic series, and some of our chapter books like the Clockwork Sparrow Historical Mysteries or fantasy adventure books in the Mapmaker Chronicles. Literacy expert and children's author Mem Fox said, when I tell a parent to read to a child, I don't want it to sound like medicine. I want it to sound like chocolate. And truly, like chocolate, reading with your family and raising a reader can be one of the sweetest parts of your day. Happy reading.